What is going on everybody? Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. I want to say thank you so much to Experian for sponsoring this video. Out the gate, we actually have to grab my bow. Uh, since you guys do know, it's about this season. It's about Henry and Duke. Or is that Duke? Or is that, I think that's Henry and that's Duke. I don't know what Avery calls them. I, I think that, that's for sure Duke. I think that's Henry. So we all know that that season is now coming up. So I'm going to get my bow dialed and prepped and ready. Today should be the final, final Final day, I have to do this. I'm gonna get some of my stuff all rigged up. I tried to find some alcohol wipes or something, but I couldn't find any. I think I threw them away on accident. Not on accident, but I threw them away cleaning up, and now I need them. And this is why I need them right here. See, I got my rolling pin set up uh, quite a bit different than most. Usually you guys have something like this on there and it'll tell you exactly what your distance is that you roll to and so on and so forth. Well, I just have one line and then my pins, which I'll show you here in a second. I mean, rolling sight, those are my pins. I don't know, I think I said correction. But anyway, that's where it was. Now I am adjusted for broadhead. I'm gonna move it a little bit. But that also means that that changes. So that's what I was looking for the alcohol for because now instead of being 59 minus, just in case this ever got knocked loose, I'm actually 56. Hopefully there you can see. Yeah, 56, see what I'm saying? So now I gotta change that. Yeah, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I don't think hand sanitizer is gonna take that off. These are just like, like, I, like I'm saying, these are my precautionary things just in case I'm out in the field and I knock my sight loose and I don't know, my sight tape falls off. I guess that's a better way to put it. My sight tape falls off somehow, it gets wet, somehow peels off. I can literally just dial exactly what's on my bow. Okay, so that's legitimately the way that I'm gonna be waterproofing this. I found something really interesting on Craigslist. This Chip. Hey Chip, this is Robert. Just calling the, I sent you an email. I was wondering if you still had that motor tube. I do. Okay, all right, I'll be on my way over there to pick it up. Uh, I probably won't be there for an hour or so. Uh, it's no problem, it's that... no problem. Okay, all right, I appreciate you. All right, cool. All right, Thanks. Bye. Okay, I changed out my broadhead when I was using last year over to these because I was told that they flew a lot straighter. And let me be honest with you guys, they kind of have been. I've learned a lot about broadhead tuning and such, so on and so forth. But I got a, I've got one that the tip actually went through my target and penetrated into a tree slice. So the tip is just a little bit kind of dented in but the arrow and everything still matched up and still not matched up well it is matched up to the broadhead but it is uh still flying straight so i'm going to try to file that down today for the first time give that a shot i'm going to go ahead and try to get these three other broadheads dialed in so I, I like i said guys i'm learning as much as i possibly can when it comes to bow and arrow and each broadhead and each individual arrow needs to be paired together kind of like tuning a bullet with a rifle i know you can flex them and make them do certain things but Oh, wow. That one dead nuts. Oh, look at that. Dead nut. I have another target coming as well. This one has gotten chewed up like crazy. I don't particularly recommend it if you want to shoot broadheads. It's fine with field tips. Definitely not broadheads though. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. So I have bought some stuff off Craigslist. You guys know I bought Ricky off Craigslist? <laughs> Which was a terrible terrible decision to buy that thing off Craigslist because it didn't work out too well. I bought my car off Craigslist, my Camaro. It's been great to me. And now we're about to hopefully work a deal to buy a World War II mortar tube. I get on Craigslist, I, I'm not kidding guys, I get on Craigslist at least once a week and I legitimately, when I'm either drinking coffee or later at night, I will search the term military. That's all I type in is military and I scroll through like the first like four pages just to see what's on there. And dude, I have no idea where this is at. This chip. Hey chip. Um, it's inside a building with no name on it, right? You're in a building with no name on it? Uh, I'm, I'm on the, I'm the very last building down here on the street. It, it, there's a big giant for lease sign out front. Okay. But I'm I, the very last building. Okay. All right. Oh, I parked in a parking lot. So I'm not in the right place. Oh, I'm, I'm the building over. Okay, I got it. Never would have thought I was going to buy... A bazooka, or not a bazooka, excuse me, a mortar tube off Craigslist. He's got bazooka rounds in there I can buy too. Okay, so if you guys did not know, it was over on the Real American channel. I just got this in from Jumping Jack Trailer. This is going to be my elk oasis, elk camp. This is what we're going to call it. This is literally going to be my elk camp. It's going to be my traveling elk camp for this uh, 2019 season. I had to put it up. I had to soak it. You guys, you guys are on that channel. You guys know what I'm talking about. I had to take it down real quick coming next week i'm 
excited. I'm wearing long boots with shorts. I am telling you guys right now, that was probably one of the easiest systems I've ever put up and down in my entire life. Probably maximum 10 minutes to put up, maybe 10 minutes to put down. That's it. That's it. I love that thing. That thing is amazing. If you guys have not seen that video, it's over on The Real Americans, like I said. If you guys want to see the entire ins and outs and what this thing actually has on it, uh, that's over on the other channel. You guys can just search The Real Americans or it's on my channel. It's, I mean, you guys, you guys have been around. You guys know which one that is. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited for elk season. All right, so there's actually another reason why I came up here to the Guggen HQ, and that was because I have to, oddly enough, I have to actually take a photo shoot because I know a lot of you guys have asked. Seen them in the comment section. Flair's actually brought it up as well. There's a lot of y'all who have been asking for us to bring back like Lunkers TV apparel or Flair's or John's. But now we're going to be running like limited runs for like a week or so of our stuff, but we're not going to do it all at once. It'll be like me and then John and then Flair and so on. And while I'm actually hunting in Colorado and New Mexico, my stuff will be dropping. This one's actually a Real Americans one, um, but I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm about to go take a photos, photos for, and then I will show you guys why you may have possibly clicked on this nice sweet succulent video. Yes, it looks like a big jumbled pile of just... Yeah. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, I know... Oh, I caught that. Uh, that takes skill. Actually, I just had to stick my hand behind my head, but I'm going to grab the tube. Oh. Okay. It's actually right here. I need my stuff to come. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Right there. Okay. So, before I show you guys my... Hello! So before I show you guys my nice little tube here, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Experian. So as you guys do know, I did one of these about two months ago or a month ago, so I'm all for credit. I'm telling you guys right now, I could not do anything inside of my life currently or what I've done inside of my life without credit. I know before my dad had passed away, probably about six or seven months before he passed away, we were having a conversation. I think I told you guys this last time, he told me you cannot do anything in your life without having good credit. You literally... You just can't really do anything. So Experian Boost can potentially increase your credit scores by giving you credit for bills you're already paying for, like your electricity and your water bill and your phone bill. This thing right here, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here's another little tidbit, tidbit on Experian Boost. Most people who use it see an increase greater than 10 points. So if you guys did not know this, higher credit scores can help you build your credit, also can give you access to preferred credit options. Yes, I'm being dead serious when I say that. All right, so another little tidbit for you guys. I know you need to know this one. It's safe, secure, and it's 100% free. No credit card required. All right, so the last thing I want to let you guys know about Experian Boost. It used to take months to improve your credit scores, but with Experian Boost, you can literally improve your credit score instantly. So if you guys would like to check out Experian Boost, it'll be linked at the very top of the description, or you guys can go to this URL right here, which is Experian.com Lunkers. That is right, Experian.com forward slash Lunkers. Hey, so like I'm saying, guys, support the company that supports this channel. Click the link at the very top of the description. Go to the URL, Experian.com forward slash Lunkers. Do it to it. I'm telling you guys, your credit scores are very, very, very important i would not be in the position i'm in today if i had not taken that advice my dad had told me back in the day but with that being said click the link at the very top of the bow thank you again to experian once again i love you thank you for supporting me and my family now let's check out this tubular thing over there just eating a meat stick what's this this is real what is it it's a mortar tube and it works it's functional but i mean it, like how do you work well it? they can't because oh, you, no. <laughs> you, you want to sit out here and sweat no hot. you look you look fantastic what do you guys think what do you guys say these shoes what shoes which ones which ones i don't know if they know what these are no i don't even know they look like i don't know what those are and then you pull that trigger and it goes off and it goes... oh i got you again you got me again well i got is it cosmo food? to give us yeah oh. it is food no, but seriously, I think it's a mortar tube. It's real. That's how they line it up. Look at that. How do they line it up? This line right here. I would but how do you know how to where to shoot it? Well, you kind of just kind of. I was told it's a paratrooping one, so they jumped in with them on their backs. They. Because this is a smaller one. Usually they have like base plates and stuff. This is a very small mortar tube. But look. So you're listen. telling me that's not very accurate. No, no, really. Look. We were at a weld oh, plate oh, over what? there. They they welded this in the middle. Yeah, they had to. Yeah, just to make it legal. It has to be legal. They drilled a hole in the side of it too. 
Okay. So what are you going to do with it? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> So a little bit of tidbit facts for you guys. This thing was built in the late 1930s, sort of what I can find. It is real. It is real. I don't think anybody's making fakes of these. Maybe they are. I don't know. But I don't think it, I don't think it is. Anyway, it's actually got a serial number on it. It's good. That makes it real. But it was made in the late 1930s. It was made for two-man teams. It was made for paratrooping him, but you definitely can shoot this with one hand, like 100%. I mean, you just put it down there. But they said it shoots eight, eight a minute is his max. Is pretty good. I would assume you probably don't want to get this tube too hot while you're trying to hold on to it because I mean you're sending a I think it's an 81 millimeter. I think it's 81 millimeter. Someone's probably gonna correct me but I believe it's an 81 millimeter. 500 yard maximum effective range. Just think about how much stuff this has seen. I mean just I mean maybe it has. I, don't know. I have no idea. That's a good question. The crazy part is it literally still I mean listen. Firing pin still works. When it got brought into the States, though, this is what they had to do. They did this, they drilled a hole in it, as you guys can see, and then they also had to do that right there to make it, well, clearly to work. I don't really know what this is for. I would assume it kind of seemed like maybe there was something, maybe it spun here and that locked it in place. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm sure somebody else does, though. Oh, I just got a hook in the hand. That's Oh, Lance, look, there's one in a package. Oh, these are tasty. Can we show those yet, Kendrick? Oh, yeah. no? we, we, can show, we can show anything? Okay. I might need to bring that out. I love how they just come in <laughs> little Ziploc plastic bags. All right, so if you guys did not know, we actually just launched the Mini Banger and the Mini Recon. Don't believe, um, don't know if the clutch is out. I think the clutch actually launched. Yeah, I think it was a Mini Banger, Mini Recon, and the clutch all launched today as I am actually filming this video, which actually a couple days ago. So if you guys did not know, these are now available. Here is the Mini Banger. So the size difference is, oh, I have one, a normal size. So here's a normal size one right there. There's a normal size banger and there's a Mini Banger. It's pretty small. I mean, it's a uh, pretty tasty looking little bait. Look at the little tiny square bill right there. This is the clutch. Look at that thing. And then this is the mini recon. Yeah, so like I said, those have also dropped. I don't know if you guys know this, but we also have the buzz baits and spinner baits that are not out yet. And then of course I've got a literally a Ziploc bag full of frogs, which you guys have seen in ours. They actually say, uh, they say eat me on top of them. It's kinda Kind of a little funny thing but uh spinner baits are pretty nice i'm not gonna lie to you guys look at this we have the the little rubber elastic band up in the front keep your line right where it needs to be googan eyes of course and the goo gs is on the blades beautiful absolutely beautiful oh forgot to mention i already got this sucker tied on look at that i'll be tossing that tomorrow i think that's enough little preparing i need to do with the morning dangle These things are just so, so loud, that bad, like. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for this video, everybody over here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me over here on Lunkers TV. I gotta get prepped and ready to grab some of this stuff. I know you guys on the other side. I was actually hoping my block was gonna be here so I can, so I can uh, tune some more arrows in with my bow, but it's not, gotta wait till tomorrow, but please, Please, please go check out the sponsor of this video. It'll be linked at the very top of the description. That sun is directly inside of my eyes. You guys know the deal. Click the everyone there. Hey, click the one right below to hit subscribe. Thanks.